uh, so far. Not too bad of a day, but we will be looking for showers and storms later on this afternoon. And this has actually been a pretty good week for showers and storms. But in the big scheme of things, people have been calling in and writing in emails saying it doesn't seem like we get the type of showers that we used to get, at least not as much rainfall as we used to get. Well, here's a look at what we've seen as far as rainfall goes over the past several decades and all the way back to the 1950s where we were getting around three inches of rain on average in that decade. But you can see anywhere around three and a half inches of rainfall is what we typically got through the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And that was the case over the past decade as well, 1990s. Just a very nice decade for rainfall, at least in the summer months, with averaging over four inches of rainfall for the summer months through that decade. But it's not that we're seeing less rainfall than what we should be getting so, so much. It's just that we were coming off of a really good decade, and that's why it seems like we're not getting the type of rainfall that we once did because the 1990s really was just a stellar decade for rainfall. Right now, we do have a few clouds out there, and we will be looking for a few more storms going this afternoon. 89 degrees is the current temperature, and east-northeast wind at 9 miles per hour. We're looking at temperatures mainly in the 70s and 80s over the northern mountains into the 90s as you move out toward the east. 92 degrees in Tucumcari, 91 for Roswell. Into the 90s as well for TRC, 79 currently in Silver City. We are looking at just a few showers and storms now starting to get going over the northern mountains. Mountains right now, and a line of showers and storms now making its way through Grant County. That's going to continue to push to the west, and we'll be looking for this activity to fill in throughout the afternoon. Not a whole lot going on across the southwest right now, but again, the activity will be filling in throughout the afternoon hours as we watch that backdoor cold front that brought all that shower activity to the northeast yesterday. That continues to push across the state. That will give us some windy conditions in the metro for this afternoon with gusts around 25 to 30 miles per hour at times. And the bigger story, though, will be the rainfall that we'll be looking for. We'll be really filling in that rainfall across central sections of the state throughout the afternoon. And then beyond this front, we're looking at this area of high pressure, which will be sliding to the east over the next couple of days. And that will eventually open up that southerly flow once again. And tomorrow, we're looking at a fairly decent chance of showers and storms because we'll also roll a weather disturbance on top of this. That will enhance our chances of showers and storms. And then we'll continue with at least scattered chances of showers and storms through the upcoming weekend before this area of high pressure starts to slide back toward the state. And that will dry us back out as most of the moisture gets pushed into Arizona. For southern Colorado this afternoon, temperatures will be in the low to mid 80s with partly cloudy skies. Spot showers possible over the next couple of days. Better chances of seeing showers and storms over the weekend than back to spot chances over the beginning of next week. Over the northwest, we'll be looking for partly sunny skies here as well. Isolated storms possible. Highs in the upper 80s to low 90s. Better chances of showers and storms through Friday and Saturday. And then we start to pull back those chances into the back half of the weekend and early next week. Southwest, numerous afternoon showers and storms, especially over the Gila with highs in the 90s for the most part. And Silver City will be in the mid to upper 80s over the next couple of days with chances of showers and storms right on through the weekend. Over the southeast, partly cloudy skies, scattered afternoon showers and storms, but temperatures on the hot side into the mid to upper 90s. We stay on the warm side through the weekend, but then we really start to heat up as we start to dry back out into the beginning of next week. We'll be near the century mark by Tuesday and Wednesday. Over the northeast, afternoon showers and storms, highs into the 80s and 90s. We'll be looking for another chance for Friday and and then spot chances for Saturday and Sunday, and then we completely dry out with just partly cloudy skies by the middle of next week. Over the northern mountains, we'll be looking for a few afternoon showers and storms here. We've already got a few going. We'll continue with that through the afternoon. Highs anywhere from 69 in Red River all the way up to 92 in Española. Continuing with those chances over the next couple of days before drying out early next week. East mountains, scattered afternoon showers and storms. Highs in the mid to upper 80s in the metro. We'll top out in the low 90s with a few afternoon showers and storms. And by the time we reach the weekend, we really do start to see things dry out. Back to spot storm chances for Sunday and Monday, and then eventually just partly cloudy skies for the middle of next week. And with more sunshine and less moisture, we do heat up as well. We're back to the mid-90s. All right. Stay right there.